Hey everybody, this is Annabeth with Sending Shoe Boxes, and I am here at our church's get together where we put together OCC stuff. I'm going to do a quick run through and show you what we've got going on, just as some examples, um, because I keep talking about it and I want to share it with you guys. And maybe it'll give you guys some ideas on what you can do with your church or with just friends or your family. Okay, over here we have chalk bags being assembled. They are putting the bags in chalk. This is, oh, these are the broken pieces. <laughs> and uh, we'll be sending these. I've shown these before, but here's a good example. Great little add-in to any box. We also have the Tic Tac Toe games that I have made a video on. Here's what they look like in the bag. We put some counter chips and they are laminated and we have all these wonderful people helping cut them, put them in bags and add the chips. This is another fun activity to add into your shoe boxes. Over here we are making hair supply bags. I've talked about these many times. Such a great little add-in to any of the girl boxes. A quick and fast way to throw it together in a bag ahead of time so you're not doing so much on the day of your packing. <laughs> and let me see if I have an example. Oh good. Here's all that they've gotten together. Look at all this fun stuff. It's going to be great for the packing party. Over here, we have people beading and making bracelets. I think we have an example right here. Look how cute this turned out. We've just got some kits that have been put together, pre-put together, and they are assembling. They're super cute. I can't wait to add them to boxes. We also have peg doll painting happening over here. They are adorable. She's already done. Yeah, yes, an assembly line. It's beautiful. She's already donated a ton and they look gorgeous. I'll have to take some pictures. Quilt. Love this quilt. Adorable. Love the fabric. And they're also sewing these headbands. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> they are um, putting on there, tying it on a headband, and we can add it to our hair accessory bags. So lots of fun things happening. So excited for all the OCC fun stuff wanted to show you some of the examples of what Miss Dreama has already painted. How cute are all these? They're incredible. Nikki, I know that you, um, I watch your channel for your peg dolls and so I got this idea from you. So thank you for the idea. We love it and they are turning out great. And now we're at my house. Um, the last portion of this video you just saw, we were at the packing party. It went great. Well, not packing party, but our OCC workshop at our church and it went wonderful. Um, I wanted to sort of on the tail end of this video show you uh, when I bring everything home how I because I keep saying I'm going to show you how I um, store everything for OCC through the year because I do like uh, some of you do and not everybody does I shop all year long and just stockpile stockpile whenever I find sales I just mostly just try to shop sales and I just found I can do more boxes on, uh, on a budget or you know in a more financially uh, smart way if I do that year round. So I'm gonna show you through my garage and what I do. My wonderful husband who is videotaping and we'll have to... Hi. <laughs> I'll have to uh, turn the camera around and show you him in a minute but uh, he built me these shelves and they worked out really good. I do live in Florida, it is hot, but I will say I've had no issues with mold, uh, melting items, or really any issues at all uh, with my stuff here in the garage. Now I know that may not work for everybody, but this is what works for us. I do have some things in the house, um, but you know, most of it's out here. So, this is the stuff over here that we did for the workshop at church. And this is all the leftover stuff for the hair accessory bags. We were able to fill three of these bins with finished hair accessory bags. I know you guys have seen those on my channel. Um, I'm gonna take whatever's left over, bring it back next month, and hopefully we'll finish them all up. And then we also, look how cool this is, finish all these bead making kits. And these were, um, we actually have enough beads and, and thread to make probably this many again, but I ran out of my plastic containers that I like to use. So I'm just going to buy some more and we'll bring that back and finish that project 
uh, next month as well. So normally I would say in, in about a year's worth of time, I'm able to fill all this, and I hope you guys can hear me since I'm not very close to the camera, but I usually can fill all of this as well as three to five of this size big bin. Uh, that's uh, what I've done the, at least the past couple years. This year, last year, and was maybe the year before? No? I don't remember. Okay. So, but remember, my birth mother brought a ton of her stuff. So I would say, normally I wouldn't have all this here. And also, I would say I have another five to six, seven bins worth of stuff in the house. Maybe even more. Uh, because of all the stuff she brought. So... It's been really exciting this year, so to put it all together, and I think we're going to way surpass our goal of 100 boxes. So excited. So, uh, go ahead and come up here, honey, and we'll show them some of the stuff that we have. So, I have a lot of my notebooks, coloring books, all lined up here. I do keep those outside. That is actually one thing that I'm a little bit short on this year, is coloring books and notebooks, actually. Those are two things I need to really go start looking for. But I'm noticing a lot of the school supply stuff is going on sale at Walmart, so I'm keeping my eye out. Um, I have a lot of toys up here. I do like to label everything. Now, since we just pulled everything out and counted and inventoried everything, not everything is labeled. And some of the labels are actually not the proper labels. They were used for another box and we end up swapping boxes for whatever the reason may be, but some of them are done. So this has like makeup and stick on earrings. We have cars. This is my box of filler toys. Um, this does have arts and crafts, but that also has stickers in it. I put a lot, that's mostly stickers. That's a box of stickers. Um, this should say bouncy balls, but this balls here. And like I said, not all of these are labeled. We've got some jewelry. These are like friendship bracelets. We were given a ton of these. It fills a whole box. Um, these, we, I, we won't go through every box, but you know, just to give you sort of an idea of what I'm able to fit in a box. You know, these are those foldable frisbees that I love to put boxes. Take up no space. Great thing to add in. Legos, um, cards, dinosaurs, my little pony. And then we get sort of down to the school supplies. Um, I don't know if I said this already, but I typically like to try. This year it didn't work, so things are sort of all over the place. I try to have like-minded things together. So I'll have school supplies on like one or two shelves, but they'll sort of all be together. So when I come out here to fill a box to show you guys um, what I'm doing, and, and I'm doing an unboxing video to share with you guys, I can just come out here and everything's where I used to go. This year's just a little wonky and different since it's like, uh, a lot of stuff going together that wouldn't normally go together. Well, I mean like my stuff and my birth mother's stuff. And now the church's stuff too. I've been bringing it home. But school supplies, pencil sharpeners, so on and so on. Um, blocks. These are like fun, I don't know, I guess I shouldn't go through all these, but I'll show you these since I said it. Fun activity books that I got like after Valentine's Day that have like markers and things to color and stickers. Uh, chapstick, soap, brushes and combs, lots of toothbrushes. My wonderful neighbor just bought 144 pre-wrapped toothbrushes, so I'm pretty excited about that. The quality was much better than I think we all expected. So, awesome. Now, this over here is all clothes. I mean, I had no clue that Christy and I had this much uh, clothing to put together. So, but we have gone through and marked it, girls five to nine socks, so that when we do the packing party at the church, it's gonna be so much easier for people to know what to put in their boxes. Um, we've got underwear, we have socks, we have um, dresses, shirts, boys' shirts. Let's see what else. Like I said, not all these, these are dresses. I think the label's on the other side. This is socks, even though it says sunglasses. Ignore that. <laughs> and then these are donations that another neighbor of mine just brought by. These are those wonderful tic-tac-toe games. Oh, here's one on the front that we did at the workshop at church. Uh, you saw me pass by at the table. So we filled this bag and then filled this little tote. Let's see, I do have a whole closet full of stuff as well, just things that couldn't come out here. Like all my washcloths are in there. Um, 
and some other things I still need to go through. But overall, this is typically how I, I organize and keep track of all my OCC stuff. I hope that this maybe helps give you guys some ideas. Like I said, I really like the bins and the labels. That's just my go-to. Um, I will say something I do for the channel specifically. Here, we'll go down here for a minute. This is my box. It's actually typically inside, but I had it out here so I could put some things in it. This is my box of what I am putting together for shoebox videos. So I got this idea from Robin. Um, I think I'm doing it a little different than she is, but overall the concept's the exact same. I have bags. I fill them with all the items. This is, oh, I'm excited about this one. Um, I love the, the movie and the book, The Secret Garden, and I'm making a secret garden box. So this is a girl, 10 to 14. I fill it with all the different things as I find them that I feel like would go perfect in this box. Put it in a bag, and then when I feel like we have everything, pull it out, fit it in the box, make sure everything fits. If it doesn't, then I just adjust, and if I can fit more, I come out here and find things to just fill those empty spaces. But most of the time it gets pretty close. And as you can see, I have a lot of fun shoe boxes coming our way. Some of this stuff needs to be put in a bag. This is recently bought stuff. And so is this. So this is sort of how I go about organizing my shoe boxes. Now it doesn't necessarily look organized at the moment, but that's because I have some fun new things to add. But yes, so I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what we do at the church. It is growing, it is getting bigger, and it's literally an answer to prayer. I am enjoying myself so much. This is exactly what I had hoped for for a long time. It's, I think I've mentioned this, it's really wonderful to see how God opens doors that you and your mind didn't even think were possible. I could have only hoped and dreamed to be able to be a part of a ministry like this, help run a ministry like this, and see it already start to grow, and we're only in our third meeting. So there's a lot of excitement from people who come, very interested, and it's been a blast. And then, like I said, I uh, not only wanted to share that with you, but give you a little sneak peek into my into my uh, stockpile. So, yes, as we get closer to the packing party, hopefully I will get to show you how we're going to set that up uh, for the church to start helping us box up boxes. So, I hope you guys have a great week. Here, honey, let me get you in the video. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Let's see if I can hold this. He's my, he's I'm tall. the husband behind the scenes. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So, but yes. So, um, I hope you guys have a great week, and I hope you guys are blessed, and I will talk to you later. Bye. Bye. <laughs>